Hi, today we're going to talk about how, what I call the chunky book. I've decided um, it's not together yet. Parts of it are together, but not all. I decided to use cardboard for my covers with a little gold leaf collaging. So I'm going to take the cover off now and I'm going to get into, it has how many signatures? This is a signature. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. And I've sewn them all with a three hole, one, two, three pamphlet stitch. I have one more to sew. So I'm going to do that in front of you right now with this one. So I have my needle thread. This is my hot dog. I have, um, I find the center of the book. This happens to have one, two, three, four pages, but when folded, it creates eight. I put my hot dog in, which is the height of my book. This book is five inches by five inches. I take my awl and I pierce through the hot dog till it gently comes out the other side. I've already pre uh, punched my holes. I want my tail of my thread to be on the outside. So I'm going to start on the outside. You could start on the inside and have the tail of the thread on the inside. I'm going to do mine on the outside. And I go through the center and then I move to my right. Then I go all the way down to my bottom hole. Come through and then out the center again. When I come out the center, I'm going to go to the right of my thread. I'm going to go ahead and cut it and then tie it off into a square knot. That's complete. What I would like to go over is what's inside my book. I'll start with this first one. I just went uh, and got different varieties of paper. This is a collage of a drawing I um, Xeroxed. I did the drawing originally in graphite and then uh, Xeroxed it. This is some fabric. I had this, you can't really see, but I stained with coffee. So later on I could do something with that. Um, here's like a rice paper page with black ink. Oh, look what I did. I sewed the hot dog into the book. Well, I didn't really want to do that, but I could decorate that later. I'll leave that and decorate. You're not supposed to sew the hot dog in your book. That's funny. Um, and then I collaged some more of my drawings. And then I had some encaustic, um, trace monoprint of these cicadas and then I sewed with my embroidery thread and sewed that onto this piece of fabric. Okay, so there's lots of room for me to add to this book. This one was a combination of um, canvas, paper, all inked and mark making separate and then I ran it through the sewing machine and I glued it. You could use PVA glue. I happen to use a glue stick. This is some of that leftover, you know, Sumi Nagashi ink I had with fabric done with ink, Sumi ink. Um, I wanted to kind of cut through uh, this paper so I could show my uh, print I had done, which was a trace, well, it was a collagraph print, actually, uh, with just black ink. Um, a lot of times you can look for drawings or or prints perhaps you have. Nothing's going on here, but I can fill it after I put my book together. But I have a smattering of images and embroidery thread, another collagraph print I cut into there. This was just prepping paper long ago with uh, graphite and rubbings that I find in my studio. And I think, well, yeah, it's kind of like a mishmash, but I want to make sense of it. This is beautiful gold fabric with ink. Uh, this is that fern stencil with um, acrylic metallic paint. So, so this page, like this is really the page, but I've tipped in this page and gave it a scored tab. And I would glue the tab and put it in there. So I'm starting to get extra pages within the signatures. And I'm going to show you the example of how to do that. Ink work. Okay. This one kind of has a title, Foundations of Botany from an old book, another stencil of the fern, some Xeroxes, another ink drawing, but different paper. This gold paper was primed with some metallic acrylic long ago. It was in my studio. 
I'm, I made myself my own envelope. I just take an old envelope and open it up and then do a tracing of the template and then fold it with good paper. I don't have anything in my envelope yet, but that can come later. See, not all my pages are the same length or height. And that's another, as long as I can get the three hole pamphlet stitch to catch these smaller papers, then they stay strong. This is an old seed packet I um, scanned in color. I've shown you the interior of the book. I'm taking the covers off. We've discussed, I have one, two, three, four, five, six signatures, and each one has been pamphlet stitched. Roughly, there's three to four initial pages, but, but I'll be teaching you how to um, make more pages once uh, everything's sewn together. I've already done some of that work. So I'm gonna take two signatures at a time. Um, and open them up and what I want to do is I'm using this pH neutral masking premium pH neutral masking tape it comes in black you could use other tape this is archival um, I've taped it to my self-healing board this book is five by five I've measured it out and cut I've already pre-cut with my exacto knife five inches and then I did um, I did, this is two inch wide tape. I cut it down to be um, an inch and a quarter. And um, I just want to butt those up against each other. I'm going to take, it's already pre-cut, so I, I want to get it a half inch roughly. Fold it like that and um, carefully turn it like this and, and try to lay down my signature on that. I'm going to take my burnishing tool. And I'll open it back up to see how I've done. Here's my connection. I want to go over it. Now I'm gonna close my book, take the next signature, and make sure you like the order it's in, how it, the rhythm is going. Uh, back to hinging. Now I'm gonna take um, my next piece. I'm gonna butt this up so with my next one, just so it's at the same height. First, I'm going to put half of it, I'm going to move it away for a minute, on one side, flip it over, flip. This one's really not being attached yet, it's this one. And I, I wouldn't know what to do without my burnisher helps me get it down. I'm going to have to glue that again. I'm going to open it up. Make sure my book's going the right way. See, it was a good thing I checked. You want to make sure all the imagery, if it's recognizable imagery, that it's all going the right direction. I'm going to put this one underneath. Close my glue stick. I'm going to move it away for a minute. Get half of it on there. this one on best I can. You want to make sure, see how neat I'm keeping it. It's not growing crooked. I'm trying to be very precise. 
open it back up. There it is. So I finished, you can see the black tape in between the signatures that I put in, and I've kept them pretty consistent. Um, so there's one, there's one, second one. Now my book is hanging together as one. How do I get the covers on? That's my next job. Okay, I've decided to put a third one. Since the pamphlet st stitch happens a three hole, I just decide to wrap it three times over the stitching with this uh, PH masking tape. Um, and then I did trim it down, even though I'm gonna cover this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a five inch, two inch wide piece of that tape and again, I could, you know, measure just to, you know, make it look super good that it has to be up to that pencil line. I want to measure the book on my self-healing mat. I have to stand up to make sure I'm getting it. I'm going to take my pencil and say, okay, I have to get it on. They're nice and neat. A lot of times I like to stand because I'm a, I, instead of sitting, because if I'm sitting, I'm not really directly above the book and I cannot see if I'm really getting things straight. And I'm going to wrap it, pulling it a bit. Okay. So I'm creating my spine. Knowing I'm going to cover it with something better later. Never enough burnishing. So my book, you know, I have the covers on gently with these um, bars. Um, I already have my uh, marbleized paper onto my double tack paper but what I wanted to do I just didn't want to just slam it on there I wanted to I measured out seven eighths I looked down here and I counted out seven eighths on one side and seven eighths on the other side which are tabs let's call them tabs glue tabs but we're using double tack and then in the center where the spine is I have left over an inch and a quarter so I'm going to unpeel one of these corners. Oh, and I scored it. What I did was after I measured that out, this is a burnisher, but it has a nice point on it. I just scored it because remember, it uh, paper has a memory and it's going to help me fold it better. Okay, now I'm going to take that off. Everybody, I mean, this is these are my measurements. I have no idea how thick or thin your book's going to be. I'm just showing you that I'm trying to keep things neat. And um, see, I can kind of see this score there. I can even, I don't want to glue it in on itself, but okay, I'm going to stand up. Tug. Feeling good about it. There. I'm going to burnish it. See, if I didn't do all that prep work with attaching the inside pages, it wouldn't be enough to just do this outer spine. Or you could even, this could be the spine. 
uh, double tack on a pretty heavyweight paper because not everyone is going to be in love with this black tape. Uh, I don't mind it. So now what I have to do is I'm not really loving that. I want to put something on there, okay, to emphasize the spine. So let's see what I want to do. I could maybe echo this, and I think I will do that. So I'll cut that. Okay, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put this on. So I put it on. I'm just going to shut the book. And I'm going to go in with my burnisher. That really firms it up nicely. And I'm going to do the same at the back. So I had this beautiful silver leaf piece of paper, but it was a little tall, so I decided to fold it in half, open it up, and fold it again. I'm probably going to glue it in there, but I want to have something inside so I can peek at it. Now, let's say I want to put this in there, but I don't want to glue the whole thing. What I can do, it already has a margin on there. I'm just going to fold it over to make a glue tab. And I'm going to just glue that tab with my glue stick. Just, so I'm just gluing this tab down and burnishing it in. But since I folded it, and it's neat, I could stick something underneath there. So I've created another page, and that's how I create other pages. So maybe, you know, maybe I'm really liking this, or maybe that. I think I'll go with Lily of the Field. You know, you can just... Sometimes, yes, you want to be precious and measure everything out. Other times, you might want to just fold and tear. So now you can see, I'm starting to, and I could draw on that, collage some more. I'm just getting it going. Let's put this one somewhere. And maybe this one I just want to tear. So one could just prep away with pages, just like I prepped these pages, and kind of tear them up as you go along. Yeah, I feel like stenciling this little skeleton stencil. going to glue in I didn't want to put it in the crease because I think it would bunch up I could do another little skeleton over here so there you have it a chunky book it's endless endless hours of fun and adding to it Mine is not done.
but you uh, haven't put anything in my envelope. I have lots more pages I could draw on. The use of scraps, fabric, paper, stencils, Xeroxes, drawings, ink, acrylic, acrylic ink, handmade paper, fabric, suminagashi ink, old books, foldovers, Little surprises, little hidden gems. It's endless. Repetition, handmade paper, your own drawings collaged in, encaustic wax, found paper, printmaking paper, drawing paper, sewing with a sewing machine with canvas paper and sumi ink. This P. Uh, PH, uh, tape, archival, cutouts, looking through to a collagraph print. This is silver acrylic paint with the Sumi Nagashi. This page, nothing's going on yet. You've learned how to, t t like this page was put in separate. This was the original page, but all I did was score half an inch, put glue on that tab, and bam, I have another page in here. So that's how you grow your book. Sewing with thread on canvas and ink, another collagraph. So that's kind of interesting. I sewed here, but it looks pretty interesting on the Xerox too. Another tag, tagged in pad, page with a tab. Face monoprint with embroidery. More fabric drawn with ink, organza fabric, so it's transparent. Hope you can enjoy making this book.